Hello, beautiful Gemini, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a healer. Um, we have a lot of new people who have been uh, joining the tribe, so welcome into all of the new soul family members here at Gypsy Capital Tarot. And those of you guys who are just returning, welcome back, my soul fam. I have so much love for all of you guys. Um, we have this powerful Gemini full moon happening in your sign in two days. Um, it's already so big and beautiful and bright. Um, so, you know, definitely with the Gemini collective, you guys could be really feeling it as well. Um, but I think everybody's kind of feeling it, right? Um, so let's see what this week has in store for you guys. Let's go ahead and just give these like a good little shuffle here. Every day I'm shuffling, <laughs> every day I'm shuffling, shuffling. Um, and I'm like not doing a really good job at this right now. Okay, so I'm seeing someone like in a, like they've been swimming, holding their breath and then they come up for air. So maybe you guys have been like waiting for something or the arrival of something. Um, and it's finally like at a time where it's approaching. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, you could be maybe feeling very emotional at this time, or maybe you've been swimming in your emotions. Okay. But this is a time of a breath of fresh air. Okay. This is like a relief energy for you guys. Okay. So whatever has been troubling you or worrying you or whatever it is, I feel that you guys have been really working hard to just to be in the now moment and to not let yourself worry or, or, or be too far in the future or be too far in the past. I feel like you guys are really, um, you know, allowing yourselves to surrender, to be in the now moment more and more. Okay. And that's helping. It really is. Um, and I think that you guys will feel that as well. So let's see what the cards have to say. Assess the situation. Exactly. See how she's out. She's connecting to, to mother earth. To nature she's grounding her energy okay she's you know there's no one around her she's just she's in the now moment that's what I was just saying Virgo could be resonant but Virgo um, you know their their ruling planet is uh, is Mercury and it's yours as well assess the situation so these could be, like I said, like things that you've been assessing or thinking about. Whatever it is, I'm telling you, I can feel it. There's like a relief energy here. It's like everything's working out for you. Everything's just fine, Gemini. Okay, Virgos, you know, are um, they can be, oh my gosh, this is so funny. Because when I was shuffling, I don't, you guys may have seen it. I When I first split the deck, when I started shuffling, this was the card I saw when I split the deck. And I almost took it. But I did not, but this is why, because I knew if it was meant to come out, it would. And this is what I'm talking about. There's a new energy um, around you at this time. A new start is coming, new beginnings. There could be new things coming in that you have to think about or assess, you know, but you get the new moon. <laughs> so... I, I, that's what I felt. I felt like in all this green is like heart chakra energy for me, the emerald color. Um, there could be something here with like green crystals, like maybe you recently, or maybe you need to work with green crystals. Like I'm getting, um, you know, like, uh, like maybe Jade, um, or Amazonite or, um, oh my gosh, my mind is like, uh, going blank fluorite fluorite has you know you can find fluorite pieces with lots of beautiful like teals and greens um so maybe you guys are working with crystals like that or maybe you need to for the heart chakra i feel like you guys have been doing a lot of like abundance abundance manifestations like you've been really taking time to to manifest maybe you're even working with like the moon phases uh, maybe you're doing rituals, maybe you're doing like, um, you know, burning like abundant candles or, you know, things like that. But it's a very like pros prosperity, prosperous energy um, that's around you guys at this time. A lot of fertility and growth here as well with the green. Money, money, money. I feel like there's some money flowing towards you too. Could be unexpected money. Let's see. 
a time of a time for healing. Yeah, you okay. So whatever's coming in for you with these new beginnings, these new starts, it's very healing for you. This is stuff that adds value to your life. This is stuff that levels you up. This is stuff that makes you happy. It's joyous. Um, I, I see like the heart, the heart chakra is it's expanding like this. Okay. So it's like the green emerald energy is going like this. Okay. Um, let's see what's on the bottom here. It's a time. It's time to release negativity, full moon and Scorpio. Okay. So a time for healing and a, a time to release negativity. So anything that is pulling you out of alignment right now, or anything that lowers your vibration, brings you down, anything like that, whether it's your own ways of thinking, you know, patterns, people around you, um, environments, you're, you're being called at this time to really focus and continue with, with, with what's healing for you and protecting your energy. There could be something around the third eye. Okay. I feel like your third eye is like really activated at this time. Um, and that's helping you to manifest, you know, your future. It's helping you to envision clearly like what that looks like and, and what you want and what you desire and, and using that to bring stuff in. It's also um, very strong discernment with our third eye. It helps us to discern through illusions and different things like that, right? We can see through it with, with the third eye. We don't need our, 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 our eyeballs, right? We have our third eye to, to sense and to see, right? So some of you guys, I feel too, like I'm getting like psychic ability, psychic awareness. I feel like some of you guys, you're really tuning in more to your psychic senses, to your spiritual gifts, you know, which we all have spiritual gifts because we're all souls in a human body, right? Um, but you know, not everybody is meant to be a psychic or an oracle or a seer, you know, or a medium or, you know, things like that. But I feel for a lot of you guys, you're connecting to that. And for some of you guys, there could, you could turn it into, you could do it professionally, like, like what I do. Right. Um, and other psychics and readers and stuff, um, whatever it is, I feel that your spiritual gifts and your channeling, you guys are channeling creativity. Like you can channel so many different ways. You can channel through music. You can channel through dance. You can channel through art. You can write through, through creation, through creating. You can channel like this, right? So you guys are really connecting to those, to your channels and uh, becoming more in tune with, um, with all of that. You could be learning tarot. You could be starting your own platform, you know? I feel that your spiritual gifts are really guiding you right now though. I feel that you guys are listening to your intuition, okay, instead of, you know, the, the mind, the brain. Okay, don't overthink things right now. I know you have assessed the situation, but what I'm getting is like, don't, like, don't worry, don't overthink, you know, with the Virgo energy here, um, Virgos can be, you know, it's, you know, like, like Libras, like Libras are up in their head a lot, or, you know, they, they have a hard time making up their mind or making a decision, right? Like that's like the stuff that different Zodiacs are known for, right? We all have our thing, but Virgos can be very over analytical. Um, and even sometimes like overly critical, even with themselves, like criticizing themselves, you know, that I'm my own worst critic saying thing. Okay. So for some of you guys, it's like, it's coming through very strongly. Like don't criticize yourself. Don't judge yourself. Like everything happens in divine timing. Everything happens as it should. There's no such thing as mistakes. There's only lessons. Like don't be hard on yourself. Okay. Whatever's happened, it's happened. It's in the past. Okay. All right. So what else for, for Gemini? Here? Tell me about this new beginning, this new start. Knight of Swords. This is happening fast. This is happening fast, okay? And what I'm getting again is like, you guys have been through a lot with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, but you've come to the end of these pain cycles. Now you're shifting into these, these healing cycles, okay? So we gotta release whatever needs to go, whatever negativity, you know, um, obsessive thinking or, or negative thinking or people, negative patterns, negative people. Okay, this is a time where you're you're not gonna be experiencing the pain cycles. You've been learning the lessons, okay? You you've been burned, you've been heartbroken, you've been, you know, you've been through hell and back, you've walked through the fire, you're rising up as the phoenix now, okay? You've you've pulled yourself back up, and this is a moment where you guys are gonna start seeing that in your lives. 
okay? So this is happening very quickly. Um, there is some type of very, like there could be good news coming in. It feels like there could be communication coming towards you that's very, um, it's very direct. Like whatever, you know, um, let's say it's like with work, right? Like let's say, you know, it's a, a position that you're going for in your company, you know, that's more money, it's higher up, whatever it is, right? Let's say you interview for that, right? Well, good news can come in after that, you know, from your boss or from whoever, right? Okay, and it feels like the communication is just very direct, right? Like you got the job, you know, you got it, right? Or if it's like someone coming towards you, it's just like Gemini, like I have a thing for you, and I want to pursue. I, I I wanna I wanna see, you know, if 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 you're open, and I want to pursue this, you know. It's like there's no like beating around the bush. It's just very cut and dry. Okay, someone could be communicating to you very abruptly or out of nowhere is what I want to say, and uh, they could be, I don't know. I think that there's someone running towards you though. Okay, there's a man right here in the photo or in the in the um on the card. This could be someone that oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't pull it out. It was on the bottom of the deck, and then the lover shows up. Gemini energy, your energy. You cannot make this stuff up. I it was on the bottom of the deck, and I didn't take it, but I talked about it, right? You know, you whoever this is coming in, you might have, you know, a little bit of like a guard up with this person at first. But like what I'm getting to tell you is like when it comes to love, you know, it's good to be discerning. Um, yeah, this is this is someone who's like with the king of swords. Okay, so you could be dealing with another air sign. It doesn't have to be. I mean, this is your guys' energy right here, but this is someone who's turning from a knight into a king. Like they've turned from a knight to a king. Okay, but this is someone who it's like they, they they mean what they say, they say what they mean, they you know their word is bond, you can trust them, this is loyal, this is honor, this is ethical, this is someone that has you know high morale, they're very balanced, you know, they could be a little bit of a of a of a of a loner, of a hermit energy, you know, where they like to spend time with self or alone. Um, you know, but I just I just get very honest energy here. Okay, and it's like you may be guarded because of the past and what's happened in love in the past, but that's like spirits coming through and it's like so strong. It's like when it comes to love, use your discernment, use that third eye, but don't, but don't push people away or don't, you know, um, hide behind walls. Okay. I don't think you guys are, um, this could be someone from the past maybe where you have a little bit of like a guard up because you're kind of like, Hmm, like, what is it that you want to say here okay um but like don't be overly defensive or overly guarded okay so you know i i'm not i'm not sure i'm saying that the right way but that's how it's coming through now the other side of this is i think for some of you guys out there this is someone who is running towards you there's a new beginning here and i think that this king of swords has been releasing negativity. I think this King of Swords is someone where they've been healing, okay? Or they've done healing work and they're ready for new chapters, new beginnings, love, all of that, okay? Um, what I'm getting here is like the, the, the cycles where you've been wounded in love and in romance, okay? Those have come to an end. That is a big thing for a lot of you guys. Um, where you've learned lessons, self-love, you don't take breadcrumbs, you don't, you know, take crap from people anymore. You have, you have boundaries, you know, you, you, you keep yourself like, you know, guarded in that, in that way. Right. Um, but now these new cycles here that are coming into your life. Okay. Because you, you've healed and you've learned lessons and stuff, right. They bring true love with the lovers. Okay. So whatever it is, Gemini, there's true love here. You know, you may not even know this person. This could be someone completely new, but I think for a lot of you guys, this is someone who, you know, um, it's like what I'm getting is like, he maybe ran in the past because he was, you know, doing his healing work, just needing to be alone, very isolated. This is someone that could have been cold or maybe they just went cold or ghost. Okay. But it's like someone is now running in. It's like, he's, He's taken this time and now he sees. Okay, that's what I want to say. And if this is someone new, then this is just someone who is healed. Like this is someone who is, you know, very direct. Okay, this is love that's coming in very quickly. New beginnings coming in quickly. All right, so let's see what else. Tell me more about this King of Swords and this Knight of Swords. 
What is this communication and truth about? Six of Pentacles, about wanting an, uh, an equal give and take. This is someone who wants to give to you. They want to give to this. This is balanced energy, okay? This is a generous energy. For some of you guys, you know, maybe you have been, um, I feel that you guys have been putting out a lot of like good energy, right? Like a lot of good vibes, good loving energy out, you know, to yourself, but also like outwardly to others. And whatever it is, it's like things are being returned back to you now. The universe is going, all right, Gemini, put your hand out because we are giving you some good stuff here. Abundance is hitting. We have the uh, the infinity symbol here, you know, as above, so below. All right, so what goes up, what must come down. So you guys, uh, you guys have manifested this. You guys have been manifesting this, okay? And I feel whoever this is, they've been manifesting a love like this as well, okay? Someone who's bottom of the deck, ready for the Ten of Pentacles. This is marriage, family, long-term commitment. You know, you guys have a mortgage together, investments together. You create a legacy and a lineage together. You lay down roots with this person. But again, there's completion. I mean, this is happiness right here. This is very, you know, high level commitment and happiness and all the things. It's also a very abundant energy. Okay, again, you guys are in this mode of receiving. Oh my gosh, look what's after it. The Ten of Pentacles and then the Ten of Cups. Yeah, this is wishes being fulfilled for you and happily ever after. Okay. This is this is what you get because you guys learned the lessons of turning your back and walking away from people, places, and things that did not serve you. You left it all behind and now you and you've walked towards the sun, towards your happiness. Now, for some of you guys, this is someone here who wants to give, who maybe walked away from you in the past, or they just turned their back on this connection, on this love, okay? But there's been progress, okay? The seeds the seeds have been planted. Something is growing here. Now, what I'm also getting is like, if this is someone new, it's just like, it's time. This is the fruits of your labor. Like you're, you're seeing your divine rewards and divine blessings coming into fruition, okay? And then you have the Ace of Swords, which is a breakthrough type of energy, all right? It speaks of clarity and truth. It's, it's you know, it's a new beginning with the Ace. It's Archangel Michael energy, though. But, you know, I think for a lot of you, this is someone who um, maybe they've been going around and around in their, in their mind, okay, about their truth, about communicating to you, okay? This is someone who, you know, maybe they're just like, you know, sitting there. And all of a sudden they're just like impulsively like, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm just going to pick up the phone and I'm just going to send the text. I'm just going to press send. I'm just going to call. I'm just going to say it. Okay. Again, this is very direct. Whatever it is, Gemini, things are happening pretty fast for you and you have 10, 10 here. This is good energy for you guys around this time. Okay. So again, there's new beginnings, new chapters, okay? Um, with assess the situation, I feel, you know, if this is a past person, that's what this person has been doing. They've been assessing things, assessing their life, you know? Um, this could be someone who's assessing you. Maybe you, you don't even know this person. Maybe they see you on Instagram or TikTok or I don't know, maybe you have a platform. Like it could be through anything or that you work with this person or you know, maybe you see this person every morning at the coffee shop, like on your way to work. I don't know, but it's like, I'm getting that, you know, someone who, you know, you, you don't know is like really like pining after you. Okay. Now I'm also getting something about love at first sight. So if this is someone new, it's like an instant, you know, soul recognition between the two of you guys. All right. We see the Merkaba here between their third eyes. And I spoke about the third eye a lot too. Okay, so it's a highly activating connection. It's very healing. Okay, this is a time for healing. This is a time for you to receive. All right, so what else? Tell me more about this, uh, the lovers. The high priestess, keeper of secrets. But 
it's again, it's, it's like psychic awareness and, and tapping into, you know, your spiritual gifts and, you know, knowing things without, you know, uh, information like, you know, it's like people always ask me, like, you know, people go, how do you know, like with my abilities, you know, my psychic uh, abilities and stuff. I just do. We just do. We just do. Right. Um, you don't need someone to tell you, you don't need right to, it's just, you just know things. Um, so again, this confirms for me, like divination and just you connecting more to your spiritual side and your higher self receiving a lot of activations, downloads, upgrades, you know, um, I mean, right now collectively, like there is a global ascension taking place, right? So a lot of us are feeling it and it's going to maybe be different for a lot of people, but you guys are definitely tapping into this energy here, the high priestess. But again, she's the keeper of secrets. So, you know, past person, I think this is one, like what the universe has kept secret from you until right, the very right moment, right? It's been growing and now you're going to see the fruits of your labor. But I think this is for a lot of you guys, like I said, someone from your past that, you know, has this truth that they need to say, okay, this is someone who I think thinks about you a lot. You may feel this person pulling on your energy or they come through in, in your thoughts a lot because when they think of you, maybe it shows up for you in that way. But they've, they, it's been secret. It's been, it's been secret. Okay. But it's like, that's what, that's what needs to be shared here. Okay. This is a healing truth with Archangel Michael, Ace of Swords, whatever this communication and truth is, it brings forth a new beginning healing and, um, and some clarity and insight for you. All right. So eight of pentacles. Yeah. You guys are definitely like getting into more of like your witchy ways, your past life, like, you know, passions and what you've done and who you are. And, um, you know, maybe your passions are expanding, you know, um, like, Ooh, you know, all of a sudden I want to really learn about crystals or maybe I'm, you know, really connecting to tarot or, you know, I really want to learn how to do, you know, energy healing work like Reiki or, you know, it could be so many different things, but you're definitely tapping into that. But this is also showing me that someone here is very focused on you. Okay. All right. I think whoever this is, it's like, you're very independent. You, you, you've put a lot of work into yourself. You work very hard or, you know, and I'm just getting like, this person admires you, you know, the, again, work eight of pentacles. This could be someone that you work with. Okay. But I just think this is someone who wants to put in the work. Okay. They want to put in the work here with you. This could be someone that feels like they screwed things up with you in the past. You know, they want to make it right. Let's see. Um, where's my, oh, there it is. Okay. So, but this is what I have for you guys. Um, so, you know, I hope that this connects, let me know in the comments below, like, you know, what resonates with you and how this connected with you. Um, I'm hearing like Marsha and then I'm getting the name like Tammy. Okay. So I, I know it's like really random, but it just is coming through. All right. I'm also seeing Macy like Macy's, but I just saw like Macy. Oh, and then I got Macy and then I got, I don't know if you guys remember, um, like years and years and years ago, there was this singer called Macy Gray and she sang a song. She had like a, she had like a kind of like a raspy voice. Her voice sounded very, it was, it was different. It was, all, you know, very, uh, unique is what I want to say. Um, but me, I'm hearing the song. I have no idea what it's called. I can't remember. It says like, you know, I don't know, like I want to say like 20 years ago. Um, cause yeah, I think it was around when I was in high school or graduating high school. Um, it's, uh, I try to walk away. Then I stumble. Da -na 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 -na. It's clear. My world crumbles when you are not here. Goodbye. And I choke try to walk away and I stumble. Okay. So I don't know. I'm like trying to, I can hear it playing, but so you, a lot of you guys will know what song that is, but anyways. Um, so I feel that that ties into this person, this King of swords or this masculine energy here. Who's like, you know, I've tried to walk away, but I can't like, you know, basically like I tried to for, you know, forget about you or move on. And I, I can't, I couldn't, you know, like you're like, you're it, you're the one, you know, that's what I get. Okay, again, like not for everybody because some of you guys, this is new. Some of you guys, this is past. For some of you guys, maybe it's both. I don't know, <laughs> right? Um, oh yeah, look at that, the road. Okay, so, um, and I'm getting like the road less traveled. Okay, so 
there could be something about a journey, traveling, um, you know, weighing options here. Again, weighing the options, assessing the situation. You guys might be, th you know, weighing your options about different things in life around this time or having to make decisions or, you know, do I want to do this or do I want to do this? But it feels good. It's like, you know, it's like if you're looking for a job, right? Like, let's say an example, you're looking for a job, right? And all, and you've, you've sent resumes out to several different places and, you know, maybe it's been like crickets for a while. And then all of a sudden, boom, out of nowhere, you, you get like three companies that like all want you. And you know, it's like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know which one to go with. It's like that. Okay. Is what I'm getting. But I feel this is someone who's like been at a crossroads. They've been at a crossroads and, um, they're making, they're using their free will to make a decision. Okay. And then it says unexpected rendezvous. The clover is like a very, um, it's a good, good, lucky, fortunate energy. Okay. Like, you know, four leaf clover, right? But it's, it, it says luck, an unexpected rendezvous, a fling. This could have been a fling from, from, for some of you guys in the past, you know, someone that you, you know, maybe only went out with for a couple times or, you know, maybe it was even like a one night stand type thing. Right. Um, and then it circles back around, you know, you never know. It could be a lot of things, but I think what this is, is like, it's not a fling. This is something that's going to last a very long time. Okay. But I think that unexpected rendezvous, and then you have a reward short lived flirt. Yeah. See, this is for, for a lot of you guys, a past thing where it was short lived. It didn't really take off. You guys weren't together for years and you know, it wasn't like a relationship. It was more of like, like I said, like a fling. It was, you know, um, you guys came together and then, and then separated, fell apart, you know, um, is what I want to say. Okay. But someone is, and then I have 22 and then two. So two, 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 someone is on a mission to get to you. I've got to get to you cause you sure been getting to me. And then we have, there it is the magician, mercury energy, very last card in your reading. So this is, and we have another two. Look at that. Look at the twos. Confirmation for you guys, two, 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 okay? So, you know, the two is partnership, it's balance, it's stability, right? Like it's, you know, it takes two to tango, it's like that, okay? So if you're seeing a lot of that right now, that could be, um, one, if you if you connect as a twin flame, or this is like a twin flame thing for some of you guys, two, two, two is oftentimes your twin flame telepathically sending you confirmation of I love you. It means I love you from a twin flame, okay? Um, so that's going to be for some of you guys, but it's just two, two, two. It's like, yeah, this is a very auspicious time. It's a magical time. There's, there's good energy here for you. All right. It's like, and I've been getting this in like every single Zodiac reading that I've done so far. It's like just a time of reward and a time of good fortune for a lot of people out there who have been clearing the karma. And, you know, we just close out some massive karmic cycles that we've all been in. Right. And that we've been working through. So again, you guys are receiving rewards and divine blessings at this time in the form of love, partnership, you know, advancement or, or, you know, growth within career or, or new, you know, things showing up for you, new passions coming through, new spiritual gifts coming through. It is a time where you are seeing it's harvest. It's the fruits of your labor, what you've been pouring your energy into. Okay. Um, and, and, and this is what you've called in. All right. So get ready for some new beginnings for some happily ever after energy. All right. Okay. So I send love to all of you guys. Um, thank you again for being here with me. I hope that this connects with you. If you want to book a reading with me, you can find all the info in the description box below. I offer several different types of readings and services. Um, and I think that's it. So I will see you guys next week for the first week of December readings. Mwah. Bye my loves.